Premium Power Sports sent me this product here to try. So what this is, is a clutch fan. So it acts as a secondary cooling device for your CVT clutches. So I do a lot of slower speed riding, not necessarily rock crawling, but slower speed trails, uh, tight technical trails, more so than the open desert style, western style riding, um, fast pace, fire roads, although I do do some of that as well. However, the majority of my trail riding is mixed. So I will be, you know, five, 10 kilometers an hour, creepy crawling my way between trees, over ruts, roots, rocks, that kind of thing. So when you go those types of speeds and you have higher engine temps, the heat can't dissipate out of your clutches the way it should be. Because even though your clutching has from factory some sort of cooling fins or device on it to keep airflow moving when your clutches aren't spinning that fast and you're generating heat from slow speed riding you're just continuously building up heat inside of that clutch box it gets pretty hot now i don't have a clutch um i don't have a clutch temperature gauge in mine so unfortunately i can't actually show you some true numbers here but i'll link a uh, a video below who uh, another guy has one of these and uh, he actually has proof of the numbers. So if you're a numbers guy, go down to that link in the description below and you'll, uh, you'll see his video. But for this, this thing for me is actually a little bit of a reinsurance. Again, I'm, I said it before, I'm big on preventative maintenance. So if there's a product out there that I know is going to work and it's going to you know, do what it claims to do and keep those temperatures lower, Lower belt temperature is going to last a longer for a longer belt. It's going to help your clutches last. Um, any type of lubrication in your clutch system is not going to get dried out as fast. It helps some airflow. So I like this product. So I'm going to give it a shot. Um, it's going to replace the, uh, I believe, the intake tube for the clutch. And we're going to go back there in a minute. And we're just, my, my, my rooster is just going crazy over there. We're just going to go and uh, replace that, um, that intake tube. And it replaces with this really high high quality silicone rubber like this is really really tacky if you get I'll, I'll show you a little bit of uh, tips and tricks in order to get this on there because I know silicone on plastic and silicone on metal gets a little tacky comes with you know uh, all of the necessary hardware to do that including the clamps I believe there's a couple clamps that go from 106 to 114 102 to 110 so there's going to be three of Three of the same kind, one of the other kind, and that goes down below where it's a little bit wider mouth. As far as the electronics go, super easy. That is as simple as you could possibly get. And where that's going to go, I'll show you as soon as we start into this install. Um, you don't need to run any switches unless you really want to, but it's set up that you don't have to run any switches to your dash. Um, you don't even need to leave that driver's side rear corner in order to wire this thing in here. So let's move the camera around back start the install so first thing we're going to do is we're going to remove uh, this section of the tubing so we're going to remove this clamp the bottom clamp and the very top clamp up here and you can do that with a phillips or you can do that with a, a seven mil socket so i just got my seven mil socket here we're going to start taking that off all right there's that put that aside by the way, us Canadians don't manufacture a lot here up in Canada, but hey, we do make a lot of your plastics for your BRP products. All right, so I just checked the footage in that last clip. Sorry, you're going to have to deal with the uh, little bit of a flicker from that um, LED shop light that I have. I don't have any incandescent ones I could throw in there for now. So the top of this clutch fan is going to start with the install of uh, this short piece silicone. So... In order to get that on there easily, soap and water, that's all you need. Just a little bit of a light spray inside just to kind of lubricate that silicone because I can guarantee you, you're going to fight it if you don't. <laughs> and then this is just going to dry up once the uh, once it starts to evaporate. So That's just going to make it a little bit easier to get on there because it's going to be tough if you don't do that. All right, so we're going to take the 102 clamps. There's going to be three 102 clamps, but I don't know if you can see it in the camera. There's, It's marked 102, and then there's a third one marked 106. So 
102, 102, 102, and then 106 down the very, very bottom. So the way that we want to orientate these clamps are on the back side. So it's kind of fitting like this, and that's going to be a 10 mil socket. You will need a deep socket for that. Uh, so I'm going to grab that. I want to leave everything kind of loose for now because we're going to need to orientate things once they're set up where they should be, and then you can just kind of orientate things as they go. All right, so on the bottom side, there goes that big elbow, and the short part of the big elbow is going to go towards the clutch fan side, like that. Don't forget to put on your band clamp. I almost did. All right, we're going to slip on our other 102, and then our 106. I'm just going to tighten up... I'm going to tighten up that 106 just a little bit out of the way so it's not going to fall on me here. Okay. Now we can uh, just orientate things as we see fit. So I'm just going to turn that a little bit. Like that. And uh, start lining up the band clamps and tighten those down. So just a quick note on that bottom clamp. That one's going to have to face out. Um, that one doesn't have enough room on the back side because of this lip on the clutch box. So I had to end up turning that one around. Um, no big deal. Um, anyway, just something to be aware of. Now, how many times have you put on an accessory and said, well, the easiest part of this is going to be the wiring? Not too often. The, the easiest part of this install is going to be the wiring. And I'm going to show you. So you're going to see this harness. Well, this harness is pre-made to go right into the harness already for your taillight. So when your machine is running, um, your clutch fan is going to be running. Unless you want to use your own switch again, then you're going to have to eliminate this and run wires up front. However, this is made for 100% plug and play. So I'm just going to move the camera over here and show you exactly what we got to do. All right, so up underneath where the taillight is... You're going to find this clip for the tail light assembly. It's going to be a little tab. Pull out on that tab, like away from it. Slide that off. Then this is what you're going to plug this into. However, being preventative maintenance, we've already got it apart. I'm going to put a little bit of dielectric grease right inside of this plug. Because, again, if there's something that could go wrong, probably will go wrong, so do what you can to help prevent that from happening. Same thing on this end of the plug. This is going to get a little bit of um, dielectric grease on it. And then we're just literally going to plug and play. So right where this unplugged, you're going to just turn that around, plug that into this harness that's already made, clip that down nice and tight, take this end, put that back into the little tail light harness hole, make sure it's clipped in there nice and tight. Now all we're going to do now is just take our excess wire and then zip tie it up. And they even give you zip ties for this too. So I'm just going to tidy this all up and then turn the bike on. See what it sounds like. All right, so it looks like everything's installed correctly. So we're just going to actually pop up here for a minute. I'm just going to take this cover off because I want to be able to uh, hear that fan run. So I'm just going to put this in neutral. And then just turn the accessory on and uh, listen to the sound of the fan here. Ooh, it's certainly moving some air. Oh, yeah, yeah, you can feel the air coming through there. You can feel the air coming through there for sure. Well, that's not bad at all. That just sounds like a particle separator. So that's the install of the RPM Power Sports clutch fan. So yeah, we'll uh, we'll see how it works. I mean, it's again without having a temperature gauge, it's kind of hard for me to tell. But it gives me a little bit of extra confidence to say that when I'm in the creepy crawly stuff, the slow stuff, where I've got high engine temperatures, high belt temperatures, high clutch temperatures. And not a lot of CFM rolling through that clutch housing like it should be if it was wide open. Nice to know that there's some actual air moving through there. And yeah, you can feel it with the uh, with your hand. So this uh, this product was sent to me by 
RPM Power Sports, and you can visit their website at rpmsxs.com. And don't forget, you can save 5% on anything that you order online by using the code RYGUY5. So that's R-U-Y-G-U-I-5. So this is cool. I'm looking forward to it. This is our... This is going to be a really nice setup after she's all done and built, and I'm pretty much done now. I've just got some uh, some lights to go on. But, uh, yeah, so thank you very much, uh, RPM Power Sports, and we'll see you on the trail. Yeah.